Late night for you too, Juliana? One's mouth can be used for things other than talking, big brother. Let's let bygones be bygones, shall we? Let's not. Patsy. <laughs> This just proves my point. Kill me now, and you'll be the first man the priori come looking for. You'll hang for attempted murder. It won't be me who hangs for that. I guess you couldn't wait for him to step down any longer. I had no choice. Oh, you had a choice. Just say sorry. You don't have to mean it. <laughs> but never mind. Where have you been? Does it matter? Lorenzo wanted to talk to you. About what? Didn't say. I see you gentlemen have met my wife. Your wife? That mother intends me to marry some noble woman from Rome. She's not of my choosing either. But she is very beautiful. She can't be married to that fool. Family meeting. Ominous. I don't have time for this. If there's any consolation, it seems my brother wishes unhappy marriages on both of us. I promised the people of Volterra that I'd protect them. Not threaten them, Juliana. Look how far that's gotten you. You can't look at me, can you? Go on. I dare you. See? We missed you at the banquet. Well, I'm here now. You don't believe in love, Messer de' Medici? It's just a pretty word to describe a clutch of petty human emotions. They mix color adhere to cloth. And there are lots more where that came from. A shepherd found a mine on his land. Well, then the people of Volterra are about to become very rich indeed. <sighs> where have you been? Better late than never. A matter of opinion. He wants a husband for his daughter. Me? You must be joking. Lorenzo wouldn't ask this of you if it wasn't important for Florence. How can you ask? See how miserable your own wife is. What do you think you're doing? The gods are my clothes, do they? Oh, what does he want now? Conjuring tricks for a cardinal or marrying one of the Pope's nieces. This letter from Lorenzo asks me to defy Sixtus. He is only a man. No looking. I'd rather watch my husband count his coins. not looking at his chest, above him. Have you seen Francesca? Lost your guest of honor. We need to talk. About what? You have a new family, a new life, a new brother even. Without his support, we will lose. We might as well leave Florence before we're thrown out. To this day, I can barely believe she married me. <laughs> Neither can we. Offer him a little to your new brother. He's you want to give it to anyway. At least she lives on in, in Sandro's paintings. <laughs> these, these daubs, these insignificant little daubs. If there is an army preparing for war, how are you going to deal with it? More talk, with palette and brush, or with sword? Giuliano de' Medici. Where have you been hiding? Careful, Francesco. I don't want to pick a fight without your thugs around to do the actual fighting. If you'd respect the sanctity of her marriage, then you would be... Ah, Madonna Arding Helly, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Mm. Sorry, you were saying something about the sanctity of marriage. But in your eyes, the melody is frozen. 